Hello, everybody. I'm Patty Patain. Intelligent conversation. For more than 6,000 years, Chinese medical doctors have used the system that they created to prevent illness and cure any disease. Understanding the concept between this ancient and this technologically advanced method of reading the body, you, you, you really understand from the get-go that we, that's our bodies, our souls, all of this is pure energy, atoms and everything that makes all this up. McKaylee, uh, explain to me exactly what you're going to have me do here. Okay. Well, what this is, Patty, is this is a meridian biofeedback machine. And this is a brass hand mask. Brass is the most receptive to all energies traveling through it, electricity. Okay. Why the wet cloth? Because water makes electricity more reactive. So oh, it's able to reach your uh, body. Uh, if it's not wet, it can't reach your body. And there's electrical wires that go in right. through here into the mass, into the cue port. Okay. So that's why I'm holding a wet brass thing. So the, it's like when there's thunderstorms and lightning, you do not hold on to metal and stand in a puddle. Exactly. Okay, got Same it. Thing. So I'm holding on to this so that the messages from my body will transmit from, from me to this, into this, into the machine, and then you're able to read it. Yes. Okay, now what, what is this all about? Well, the, you have acupuncture in Chinese medicine, mm -hmm. meridian points, where the doctor will put needles because they believe that all disease starts from blockage of, ener of uh, energy in the body. So this particular point here is your nerve point to your brain. So it really communicates to your intelligence very well. So what I'm going to be doing is talking to your intelligence right now. My body intelligence? Your body intelligence. Well, we're and see your, smart my your body, body knows everything. Okay. So I wet it. And instead of using a needle, I use a brass probe, mm -hmm. and I'm communicating right now, and it's gonna, it's talking to me while you're ho holding on to the brass mass. Okay, I did find something. Your body's saying today that it would like more deep breathing, Patty, from your abdominal area, not your chest. Okay. Oh, so I have to, I have to concentrate on my breathing. That's yes. what the machine is telling you? Yes, that for your part of your healing that you need to concentrate on your breathing. So I have it to al breathe deeper? Yes, it also says that you have a structural blockage in your spine. So either either a chiropractor or a massage therapist would be good for you right now. A structural, maybe that's why I have a little bit of low back pain. Yes. But I've been using my TENS unit, will that help it? That could help it, yes. And digestion is still showing, so I would say to continue on your paleo diet as of right now right. because there's still some inflammation in the body. Well, the inflammation has always been the biggest problem for me because I inherited it from my father who had serious bursitis. It was really bad. Mm. And what you've told me to do with the paleo diet has made a huge difference. The only problem with the paleo diet, which is a way of eating that involves no sugar, no white sugar, I can have maple syrup and I can have agave, nothing that comes out of a box or a can, basically nothing that is processed. Right. And it's working. I've already lost nine pounds and I didn't want to lose any weight, but I've lost it. And now I'm going to try and just maintain where I'm at because I want to stay healthy. I don't need to lose any more weight. But um, it's taken like two inches off my waist all of a sudden. It's in less than what, four weeks, something like that? Well, because we're communicating to your intelligence, your brain, if mm -hmm. the brain's dehydrated, I'm not able to get a reading that okay. well. So that's why a person has to be hydrated really well. And it takes, the actual body uses 10 glasses of water a day. 10? 10 glasses of water a day. To function. To it's function. like a high-speed computer that requires cooling and these super-duper Big time, huge room full of computers need water, in, a type of a body water inside them. Right. It's the same thing. We have to keep cooling our mind engine. Right. Otherwise, you could water. get brain fog. Brain fog? Brain fog. Now, it does say that you have genetics, Hold family on. history. Okay. You want me to drink my water to I begin do. with? I because do. Because the machine showed that I need water? It did. It said that it would like you to hydrate. Is this going to be able to show up immediately? 
It really? Is. It is? Mm -hmm. I can feel it going down and the machine's going to tell me it saw it already? All right, let's see if the water's there yet. <laughs> okay, we'll take your brain point here. We're going to wet it, and now we're going to tap into your intelligence. Yep, and you are on. Really? Mm -hmm. The water went right to where it was supposed to go? Yep. My brain is functioning at maximum capacity. Okay, what's the, is this, does the sound indicate to you that there's been a proper read between my body and, and your sensing system? It does. I like the sound. I can actually turn it down, but it actually will tell me when it stops, when it hits its point, and then it drops mm -hmm. down. So the point that it drops down is the point where somewhere within my body it's not allowing the energy to flow? Yes. Oh, well, that makes sense. It's kind of simple. Um, Give me, um, is there sh anything else showing up there? Allergies are showing up on you, histidine. Yeah, yeah well, it's a little bit of the weather. I, I took a little bit of a thing. It's just it's something that, because I was born and raised here in the desert, mm -hmm. when before they put all the golf courses in and before they planted all the flowers that don't belong here and all the trees that don't belong here, the older I got, I didn't have any allergies up until about 15 years ago. Never had an allergy as a kid because there was nothing in the desert to become allergic to. Well, now, and I rescued a puppy, didn't thinking that it was going to be an allergic reaction to me, and she's a little allergic for me. So I deal with it. I take a little antihistamine every now and then. Well, actually, that's what it says is that your body wants is okay. a histidine. Okay. So what other than antihistamine? Is there something natural I there can do? There are stinging nettles, and there's a product from a Nature Sunshine called Histablock. Oh, okay, so it's works. all this natural stuff that mm -hmm. I do with Gloria. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, when we finish the test, then she'll tell me about right. the histoblock. Okay. Yes, and then it d also says that you have a family history genetics, uh, I think, more on your mother's side that you've inherited. Yeah. It I've, shows a family history of depression. Absolutely. That and comes I, from the Irish side. Is that the mother's side? Yeah, the that's Irish side. It, My mother didn't, didn't inherit it. My brother did, and I did, and I have a lot of cousins that did. Mm -hmm. And it, it is a manic depressive thing mm -hmm. that I was able to control until I went through menopause. And once I went through menopause, I had to be medicated. And I've been medicated now for almost 25 years. Mm -hmm. I'm on a maintenance dosage, and it works perfect. As long as I watch my diet, do things like this often, and make sure that I'm maintaining what I'm supposed to maintain, which is a proper diet, nothing to the extreme. And I keep taking, I happen to be on Prozac. And I'm just on a little tiny dose. I got the right doctor at the right time that treated me properly. And it's just so important that I watch what I eat. And I had no chocolate, basically none of the sugars, no alcohol, nothing for 10 years. And it gave the Prozac an opportunity to begin to heal the broken 5-HT receptor in my brain that kept hogging all the serotonin. And that hogs the serotonin, you get depressed, you're manic, you're depressed, you're manic. Uh, uh. So, but because of, a lot because of coming to the herb cellar for the last 22 years, and, and Gloria, and now you, it's made all the difference in the world. That's if wonderful. You know, if you know what is wrong and how to fix it, and you do it and you stick to it, you're going to lead a pretty healthy life. Can't Absolutely. say for how long, but you'll sure be healthy. I'm a lot better off. I watch what I eat. I take the supplements this has told me to take, and I pay attention to what you're telling me. So what else are we showing up well, here Well, it's actually showed that your cardiovascular system has improved. Really? And your cholesterol's not showing up. No kidding. No. But I'm eating the paleo I know, you... way of eating. I'm eating eggs and bacon and meat, lots of fruits, lots of vegetables. I switched from half and half for my one coffee in the morning to coconut milk. Wonderful. And if I want a little sweetener thingy on my fruits, and or my fruits, I get coconut milk, add a little bit of vanilla, mm -hmm. or a little bit of maple agave syrup, and I put that on it. 
and I can eat all of that I want. The problem is I'm still losing weight. So, but it's working. What else we got? Well, there? it's showing potassium. So let's talk about your potassium. I need more potassium. Are you on, are you taking potassium? Oh, uh -uh, you no, didn't. Yes, then you yeah. do need it. What for? Okay. Well, potassium helps all the cells in the body. It helps the heart. It alkalizes the body. Uh, it helps uh, blood pressure. It, the adrenal glands hold the highest amount of potassium. And I'm kind of low there. I haven't gone to your hormones yet. I will do that right now. What's that got to do with potassium? Uh, the adrenal glands control our part of your hormones. Oh, well, we don't want my hormones out of whack, so yes. let's go for it. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to click on the endocrine system, and we're going to look at your hormones here, and we'll see how your adrenal glands are doing. Okay, so far what is shown is uh, one of the adrenal glands. It's your right ad part of the adrenal gland and also your pancreas tissue is showing. And I think uh, what that's... What does that mean? Pan pancreas tissue makes you crave sweets. So you had a little bit of agave this morning, right? Mm, agave syrup, did you? No, or, no? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Did you have anything sweet today? Probably. I had an energy drink, but you don't want to know about that. Okay. Well, that might be why that's, okay. that's showing. But I would suggest uh, to increase your potassium, you could either do that through diet, mm -hmm. or you could also What do uh, I do eat to increase the potassium? Asparagus. Banana? Asparagus is super high in potassium. What about bananas? Bananas are high in okay, potassium, Okay, I can do too. those two things. Not yeah. a problem. Okay. McKaylee, tell me about your background. I know you're a registered nurse, which makes all of this very comfortable for me to talk about out and for me to recommend people that come here to the herb oh, cellar. Thank you. So your credibility is at stake here. And what is what is your background as a nurse? Currently, I work as a subacute nurse. I work with people on life support, which is similar to if you were in the hospital working with a patient in ICU. So it's critical care. Um, my background is working as a charge nurse in skilled nursing. I still work one to two days a week as an active nurse to keep my license. A friend of mine who was a chiropractor told me about these machines and I had heard about them and I contacted the company, they're out of Utah, and and it has evolved ever since then. And then I take my nursing actually skills because I interpret lab reports working in nursing and all of that and I work closely with the doctors so it actually I'm kind of reading a report here, so I put it together, all together. I use both ends. Uh, once you've completed your test, you print this, you print what the, what the test has discovered about my body. You print it out and you give it to me and I hand it to Gloria and she then kind of interprets it into a herbal, herbal way so that she can give me the supplements I need. Exactly. Okay. Yes. And this is basically, it's a comprehensive body analysis, right? Yes. Okay. And this told you that, in your opinion, this is what I needed. Yes. From doing all this. I really have noticed a difference in all of this. I'm just fascinated by it. And the history of how this all came about and how you do your thing with your medical background, just to me, it's a no brainer. And what is really neat about what is happening today in this field that McKaylee practices is the technology advanced energy reading machine created by the physicist it makes perfect sense it's all right here let's see gloria i think it was 20 see four or five years ago that i walked in here because you had bulk herbs like the kind that come in these box pegs and I was studying Chinese medicine and you had the herbs and I came to you and you started teaching me about some of these Chinese herbs that you carried so that's how long Gloria and I have been uh, 
acquainted when it comes to health. And then in, uh, oh, about 21 years ago or something, you became a guest on my radio show and then on my television show. And we're still doing this because when I find something that is good and good for you and is an honorable business with individuals that know what they're doing, I stay with it because I think it's really important for us. And health, you know, you can have all the money in the world, and this is an old saying, if you haven't got your health, <laughs> you're toast. So, uh, Gloria, gee, the first time we did all this, you were a little bit bigger. Yeah, like 50 pounds bigger. 50 pounds bigger. <laughs> and then a couple, about three years ago, was it the, this that found what, what, what the problem was? Yes. When um, McKaylee came McKay with... I was tested by McKaylee, and I found I was leptin resistant. Which is... Well, I, I didn't know what it was, so I started doing research. Mm -hmm. And it's a hereditary factor. Mm -hmm. And what I did is I found out what you need to do to fix fix it. Which was? What was the main thing you did? The main thing I did was quit sugar and take amino acids. And you didn't you kind of cut anything else out that was white like uh, bread, potatoes? Well, yes, what I do is I, I try to keep my sugar grams at 15 a day mm -hmm. and I keep my carbs at about 120 and I keep my protein, a good amount of protein, mm -hmm. and only good fats. Yeah. That's basically so what So basically what you're talking about is the same thing she told me to do, which was the paleo, the caveman type mm -hmm. way of eating. Right. I, uh, I mentioned uh, earlier to, um, to McKaylee that I've dropped, I think, nine pounds as of this morning, and I didn't, I didn't do this to lose weight. Mm -hmm. I, I came to you, as I do very often, and went through uh, McKaylee's uh, type of uh, testing because I just want to be healthy. The older I get, the more healthy I want to try and maintain myself. Well, if we don't take care of our bodies, no one else is going to. Well, yeah, and we can forget <laughs> anything else we've got. So um, you, you've lost the weight in three years. You just totally kept it off by just taking a few supplements, mm -hmm. doing what you have always told other people to do. And because you changed the way you were eating, but not by that much. It was just a little, some minor little changes. I had to tweak it a little bit. Yeah. Tweak. The word is tweak. <laughs> All right. So when when McKaylee finishes with the the technical part of it, and this prints out, mm -hmm. then you take it and you decide. Like she told me that I needed something for. Uh, the fact that the older we get, this our, our intestine has a tendency to leak uh, nutrition that has not been fully digested. Mm -hmm. And then you said that I needed, or, or she said that you, she suggested this and this, you know, folic acid, lecithin, et cetera. And you then determined that yes, what, whatever, because of all your years in this, as a master herbologist, you figured out that what the what the uh, the physics of the machine determined you agreed with yes and you determined how many times a day i should take what because you know all about this stuff yeah one that's really good for that is like l-glutamine is an amino acid that's a, it's very good for leaky gut it's also good for leptin mm -hmm. it it makes glutathione in the liver that oh yeah i've got liver. that right here yeah your, yeah it makes uh -huh. your liver work be able to burn fat um and it helps with sugar craving and alcohol craving Besides, so it's a very good, I take two, um, two L-glutamine every night before bed. Well, I'm taking a handful now, again. And, you know, uh, there's other, another, another thing that I want to uh, show is that they're over there, and it's, it's this uh, cleanse, the Chinese cleanse. It's called something else today, is it? Did well, they it, change the name? It's in Chinese. It's called Tao, Tao, he, Tao he Cleanse. Yeah, which years means ago. Balance and Harmony. Mm -hmm. Years ago, you created this for Nature Sunshine. Mm -hmm. Now, right. Nature Sunshine is a company in Utah that produces Nature Sunshine, Nature products. Sunshine products. And uh, Gloria has used them for 30 some, 36, years. 36 years. So when you find something that's good, you well, stick I with it. I call them the Mercedes Benz of the herb world because they came yeah. up with the idea and they're, they go for top quality and they're, they, they, they deliver. But it's what you've always given me, and I've always been very happy with it, and you get what you pay for. Mm -hmm. um, now, you are, you are just getting over 80 years old these days. <laughs> All right. Now, you happen to have how many grand, how many, ch three children? Three children. 
I have seven grandchildren and six great-grandchildren. Okay. Now, one of your grandchildren is now becoming very active at the Herb Cellar. Yeah. And give us a quick history here. We're going to introduce Rachel in a minute. Mm -hmm. But this little building we're in, this is the same exact building I walked into 20-some years ago. Mm -hmm. Your mom lived here, did she not? This was her art studio. She was an artist. Yes, this and, was her art studio. Okay, so your mom lived here for how many years? Was well, had her studio here for been, how many it's years? It's been close to 40 years. So this building has been here for well, it's over 40 oh, years. It's, it's almost ready to be in the historical society. Right, <laughs> but your mom was an artist, a wonderful mm -hmm. little artist, mm -hmm. and she lived to be how old? 93. 93, not, not bad. Not bad at all. And so you moved your little herb cellar here, mm -hmm. and it's been here ever since. Yeah. Because it's it was both 29, 29 years. years. So mm -hmm. it was both the art studio and the herb cellar, and then it became just the herb cellar. And I, I bought the whole building from her. Well, some things never change, That's except right. for this figure you ended up with. Which I really like. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I mean, you look terrific. I can't get over how different you look after all yeah. these years. Well, it surprised me, too. Did it? <laughs> yeah, it did. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, we're going to talk to Rachel, okay. granddaughter Rachel, who you have taught and been helped her been schooled in all of this so that mm -hmm. she can help people as you do. Mm -hmm. You got it? The next generation. The next generation? Well, this is the next generation of the herb seller. Rachel, granddaughter. But you're responsible for two of the seven grandchildren, right? Yes, I am. <laughs> two of them. Yeah. How did, uh, did you want to get into this? Did your grandmother encourage you, or you just kind of fell into it? Well, I mean... I was a kid, I was raised around natural, sometimes it seemed annoying because I couldn't have sugar. <laughs> but as I got older and started having some serious health issues of my own, and I was always determined to find a solution naturally instead of do the traditional route, which is what was kind of encouraged with the medical field. Um, so I started trying all kinds of things to try to help myself, and that's what really developed the passion that I have because it helped me so much. Didn't something trigger it? I think uh, uh, Gloria mentioned that you were in an accident when you were like 16. Yeah. And it really did a lot of damage. So tell me, tell me about that and then what followed that really set you on this path to trying okay. to help people with the same similar problems? Yeah, well, what happened was um, I basically had been crushed by a truck, ejected out, and crushed my lower body. So they had to put me back together again. I had to learn to walk again. I had horrible pain and a lot of other things that went along with it, emotional turmoil. And um, the doctors wanted to put me on meds, and, and I was in so much pain. So, I mean, I ha really had no option at that point. So you um, went on regular pain medication, I did. which was something you were <clears throat> never, ever used to. Right. No, I was 16. I never had tried anything like that. Um, but it felt like an answer to a prayer because mm -hmm. I was in so much pain all the time. And it helped me to be able to walk and, and function. But over time, it became different, and it took over <clears throat> my life. And so you became addicted to all I this did. stuff? Yeah, I did. And um, I, it almost took my life because of it. And I've been through rehabs trying to overcome it. Um, but for me, it actually sent me on a journey on how to find things naturally to help me with my pain, to help me with the underlying issues that I had, which were depression, anxiety, my blood sugar. Um, once I started trying different things and I found what worked for me, I no longer had the cravings. Um, I, like, I wake up today, like happy to wake up with energy, I feel wonderful, and I finally found what worked for me. How many years did it take you to figure all this out? Oh, my goodness. Oh, a long time, probably, I don't know. It's just been within recent, within even the last few months that I finally found something that really was a perfect combination for mm -hmm. me. Because I would do good for a while, then I would struggle. Well, it's been 10 years, or 20 years since your accident. Yeah. And during those 20 years, you would say that you were really in trouble, a good 15 of them. Yeah. yeah. I was, I'd wake, I'd hope I wake up the next day. 
And I always, you know, I always wanted to live. I never was one of those types of people who just didn't care anymore. I've always been a fighter. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you feel like there aren't options. But I just knew there was. And so I just kept searching, trying things. And I just didn't give up. And now I found it. And so now my, my passion is to help share this with people because it changed my, literally my life. It saved my life. It changed my family's life. And there's always a solution. And that's what I'm about is sharing that with people. So with the help of Gloria, your grandmother, and all her knowledge of herbal and um, complementary, what they call complementary medicine. Mm -hmm. So you found the solution in what is on these shelves and the mental part of it, how did you get that help? Was that just from your family? Well, um, you know, I have a spiritual foundation that's really important to me and I have a great supportive family, thank goodness, mm -hmm. because that was something very difficult to deal with, you know, the addiction problem because you feel like it shouldn't be happening, but it mm. is a disease, so you yeah. have to overcome that. It's not about me being a bad person or not having willpower. So I had to overcome some some ideas that I had and not be so hard on myself, but that took time. And when yeah. people uh, find out that you be, have really become a specialist in helping yourself, you can help others. Uh, when, they, when they come to the herb cellar, um, you're the go-to person for the types of depression, anxiety, uh, manic, whatever goes along with sometimes a natural tendency towards that because of an inherited problem sure, or as a result of just simply um, uh, becoming addicted to some type of a pain mm. or a, a, a drug. Yeah. But you're, you're it. Yeah. yeah, and that's the thing I found too. Nature Sunshine is an amazing company and I also discovered um, some another company too called Soul Naturals mm -hmm. that really helped me tremendously because what happened was I was um, declining severely over the last few months. Um, I was diagnosed type 2 bipolar, di type 2 diabetes, fibromyalgia, all of these things which I don't care about labels. I'm all about figuring out how to fix it and how to feel better. Their philosophy with these products is they combine herbs that balance your emotions mm -hmm. as well as the body and every product, even their enzymes have balancing for the emotions. Because if we don't balance our emotions, it will break down our immune systems. If we're under stress, that causes us to right. get sick. So it made complete sense to me and I was so excited because I thought maybe, maybe this yeah, will help So now me. it's helping you. Yes. Now, honestly. when someone comes in, um, it, is it usually you hear the same story that you've gone through? Oh, is, yeah. it, is it pretty pretty standard a pretty standard story? Oh, absolutely. And that's the thing. It, it like it makes me sad because like so many people are suffering mm -hmm. and they don't know what to do about it. They go to the doctor and I mean I I'm not we're not anti doctors. We believe in them. You know the doctors actually saved my life. They stopped my bleeding and put me back together again mm -hmm. and I learned to walk again because of them. So. But there are times where we have to take accountability for our health, but people don't know how. They don't right. know because they're told this works for that, this works for that. So they buy all these products and then nothing works and they're like at a loss. But I've been there, done that. I've tried this, I've tried that, and I finally figured it out. And so that's what I am, am determined to do is to, to spread the word and let people know how to become happy with their life and feel good.